Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about uh, Marvel Multiverse role-playing game and uh, the Iron Snow Season 1, Episode 3. Uh, and this is the second part of Episode 3. And what I want to get into is... So at this point, Punisher introduces Norman Osborn to Spider-Man. And Norman Osborn explains to Spider-Man, uh, you know, I had this accident. I got these superpowers from the accident. I don't know how to control them. I don't understand them. I don't know how to master them. And Spider-Man's like, I get it. I, you know, I had all these same problems. I didn't know how to control my powers. I didn't know how to improve my powers. I didn't even know how to find out what my powers were. I can absolutely help you. But there's only two ways to do this, right? One, we need to go away for three weeks and you and I are gonna, are gonna answer every question and we're going to be in a world of our own where we're trained, okay? Now, I know not every, you know, I don't know, I know your secret identity, but I don't know your normal identity. I don't know if you can just disappear for three weeks, right? The other way is you can just go on adventures with me, right? Uh, you will join me on my regular adventures. However, I want to warn you, the first option is a lot safer, right? Uh, and the reason why is, you know, I routinely get involved in you know, world-saving adventures, because that's that's how I roll these days. And that could be very dangerous for you, right? So which one do you want to do? So Norman Osborn is like, oh, okay, well, I get it. Uh, and you're absolutely right. I can't just be taken off for three weeks. And so we're going to go with, um, we're going to go with the second option, um, which is, you know, I'm going to join you on adventures. So at this point, uh, Spider-Man's like, great. Uh, let, let's go, right? So they start to patrol. So he immediately just jumps off the building, swings away to patrol New York, right? Well, what's really interesting is, so one, um, I have this issue where uh, these things happen and, you know, and the gold player makes a decision and then all my planning for the other stuff is just thrown out, right? Like, now this is this is the burden of every good dungeon master, but uh, I'm going to, but I'm going to tell you here, right? I had this whole adventure set up for the Savage Lands, Right where, you know, so the would have been Spider-Man and, and, um, and Green Goblin in the Savage Lands, which I think would have been pretty cool. Uh, but, but I had, you know, but I had both paths covered, right? And so at this point, they go, they begin patrolling um, the city. And what's really interesting is it's not Spider-Man that starts the next adventure. <coughs> um, Punisher's like, hey, uh, you know, I, don't, I know it's kind of weird, you know, uh, but and actually, oh, so... Spider-Man just fl flies off, flings off on his, you know, on his webbing, right? And now, um, you know, and uh, and there's this awkward, you know, scene where Norman Osborn's like, well, I could just fly down there and follow with my glider, but Punisher, what do you do? And he's like, well, I need to get on your glider. And so it's a little weird, you know, because like, you know, a Punisher's like got his arms around the uh, uh, Green Goblin's waist. It looks a little strange, but it's very comic book, right? And, um, and Punisher, because... Punisher doesn't fly, which is like, okay, uh, get on the back. <laughs> it's really kind of fascinating, All right? And so, uh, so they, you know, they fly off. But Punisher has the same comms that um, that Norman Osborn does, and he can monitor uh, police scanners, right? And so, and actually, he's much better at it than Norman Osborn is. And uh, Punisher says, "Hey, there's a disturbance at the New York." Natural Science Museum. Uh, there's a break-in, so why don't we go over and help, right? So, um, so, and actually, I love this part. Um, so, Norman Osborn actually throws an explosive pumpkin bomb in the air uh, to let Spider-Man know that they're going a different direction, and they swing off toward the Natural Science Museum. Very comic book. Love the action. Love the you know, getting a little of that villain, uh, you know, villain flavor in there. Now, you know, he detonated 150 feet off the ground, which was loud enough for, for Spider-Man to recognize it, but not, you know, but no detritus enough to, like, kill anybody, you know, or anything like that. So, uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. Um, and so, now, then at this point, they go toward the Natural Science Museum, okay? They go to the Natural Science Museum, and they found, and they, they kind of swing around the Natural Science Museum, and they find an entrance in the back. They find the broken open door, right? So, um... Uh, Punisher says, you know, hey, listen, I'll circle around on the east side. You go in the, this back door here, and then Spider-Man will catch up. We don't need to worry about him. He'll, he'll definitely catch up, right? So Green Goblin, uh, you know, goes in, right? And what he sees 
is he sees Enchantress and Sabretooth, right? And they're going through the museum until they find the Sabretooth uh, display, right? And so Norman, so Nor, and actually in Green Goblin, in Green Goblin costume at this point, says, uh, hey, you know, like, where's Spider-Man and, and Punisher? I'm like, they're not here yet. You actually, you know, did a good job of following these guys and you, you got the drop on them, you know, and so what are you going to do? And, uh, and so he does, he, he, uh, it was uh, pretty interesting. Um, he, so basically, uh, he says, I'll watch him to see what they're doing. And Saber, and so Sabretooth says, okay, perform the ritual, right? He says this to Enchantress. So Enchantress, you know, points her casting hands toward, uh, the Sabretooth and she begins to cast. Well, uh, um, Green Goblin's like, for, you know, I got the drop on them. They don't even know I'm here. I'm going to jump up and kick uh, Enchantress right in the head, right? And so he does. He just jumps right up, kicks Enchantress straight in the, straight in the dome, right? And uh, he did not get a fantastic success, but, but she's in the middle of casting, right? And he just kicks her right in the mouth, right? And sends her sprawling 10 feet, right? Um, and then he he lands, and then uh, Sabretooth is like, oh, heck to the naw. And of course we have, uh, we have initiative. He did not roll a fantastic success. And if you get a fantastic success in Marvel, then you actually get a, um, uh, you get some extra, uh, you actually get extra, um, you get a, a bonus round, right? So he didn't get that. Um, and then Sabretooth comes up and does 40 points of damage with a huge slash, successful slash against Green Goblin. Then at that point, right, at the bottom of the round, Spider-Man and Punisher come in. Punisher puts two, uh, two M9, one, M, M, M1911 um, pistol rounds into Sabretooth. Uh, Sabretooth's got 180 points of damage. And um, T Punisher did about 30 points to him, right? Uh, with two shots, right? So, ugh, not good. Uh, and actually, you know what? I think Punisher shot two rounds, and he did he did thirty points with one bullet, right? And then the other one didn't hit. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. And then um, at that point, they um, yeah, at that point, uh, the 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 combat continues, and um, and then Spider Man gets into the mix, and then um, begins punching on Sabretooth. And, um, and Enchantress gets back up and Green Goblin just punches her out, just completely punches her out, knocks her unconscious. And then, uh, Spider-Man and Punisher go, you know, go head to head with Sabretooth and, um, a round later, uh, Green Goblin joins them and they all defeat, they capture Sabretooth and Enchantress. And, uh, and we're going to cut it off there, and I'll continue next time. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. The important part is when I hear yours. Please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennium.